what we're going to talk about today really are these five steps. We're going to talk about the, to review your mission, well, your vision, your mission, and your values. That's number one. Okay, so this is the five steps. Number two, strategic priorities. Three, creating tactics really around the roles, goals, and the organization model. The fourth is to integrate the SAPR or SASH to the strategic goal scorecard. Okay, so, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. I was talking to Ann at the beginning of the session. This is not the SAS, this is not the SAPR, this is not the PMF. All of that is really overarching like governance, the minimum requirements for the, for the, for the chapter so you can check the box and say, yeah, we meet requirements, we are. You know, now that you have your core and you're extended, so that's that's true. But by the same token, again, um, these things change, as we've just said, PMF, SAPR, SAS, you know, it's it's a it's a kind of rolling and, and our meeting today, our our idea today for what we're talking about what led us to our success is really the model of what would make this work for you, would make this work for us, what we our environment, our you know culture really, what's going on in our city. You know, we'll talk about that in a few minutes as far as some of the challenges we had in Phoenix. And the number five is really an action plan, the dashboard, the issues list. It's like a project plan, but it's not a you know thousand line project plan. It's a dashboard. It's more like the top 10, the top 15. So because it's a strategic dashboard is the idea. So vision, mission, values, strategic priorities, tactics, SAPR, SAS, PMF, you know, aligned with PMI, GOC. It's really the deal. Make sure that we are you know, flowing with, you know, the governance piece uh, and we're not having competing priorities if we can help it. And then the five is the dashboard, really. And then the issues list, and we'll talk about the critical issues director role that we implemented a little bit. I know Ray Chiu is putting that in. And we have uh, the critical issues director here, uh, Pamela is meeting with him and, and, uh, and her and working together to uh, keep that going. So step one, we're gonna, we're gonna go through this now, and we're gonna talk, uh, and I'm gonna give you just a couple minutes and think about you know, review, uh, mission, vision, mission, and values for the prior year. And what I want to do is I want to share with you our uh, our vision and our mission and our values that we put together so you get a little idea of what we did. Um, and one thing that was very interesting is uh, that uh, I was called upon in the session, uh, the president's session, several times unexpectedly, uh, where I guess our, our documents, we've got our uh, strategic plan out there, which is about whatever, 40, 35, 40 pages, and then our, our uh, priorities and our um, roles. And um, we've got that out there, so you, you definitely can uh, review it. But um, you know, if, if you haven't gone to our site yet, so folks, uh, I didn't expect to uh, go in there and print it and out and whatnot, which is great. And we definitely are here to help and, uh, and share the uh, strategic plan. So, okay. I think it's got a timer on the slides that somebody's built in and they're automatically forwarding. And that's why it's moving on its own. Jack, is there a timer on the slides? He's back. No, <laughs> no it's got a poltergeist. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, do I do it manually? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. We can put it in now. I am doing it manually, so it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's doing it still. No, I mean, you want me to take it off of that? Yeah. Yeah. Take it out of presentation mode. Just sit there. Yeah. Just unplug the antenna. Yeah, unplug the antenna. Thank you. There we go. And that's do it We're good. Yeah, that's it. She's a much more beautiful clicker anyhow. I'm sorry. Brad, you're out now. So, um, so our vision, you know, we uh, and, and actually these top this this these five items really. Uh, I want to read you a, a sentence before these five items because you know you might think that this is kind of tactical, but you know if you think about the the uh, the items above that, then you know you'll get the bigger, better picture. So let's 
let's uh, talk about that pitch. So what we've got here is the vision of the PMI Phoenix chapter is to provide the best project management experience to members and the community. And there was a lot you know, that went into that exact sentence there. So you know, again, it says here, uh, that's the first bullet then, uh, best PM experience to the Phoenix community. And then the four bullets really under that is transparent and authentic leadership, a collaborative online community, educational certification and networking opportunities. We're gonna talk a little bit about networking because I think some of the chapters really aren't doing much networking you know, per se. I have a network director, but uh, that has been a, uh, one of our huge success stories that led us uh, high uh, as to number six in Phoenix Business Journal, uh, which you're going to see uh, coming up. And that's really a lot of what our notoriety is, so to speak, in Phoenix, is to, uh, to be this networking you know, organization where people can talk find jobs, and also share experiences uh, in business. So networking is key, and then sharing our knowledge and skills with the local community. So that was, uh, so that was our vision, is our vision, and uh, it's key to take a look at that. We did that and share uh, and talk about that for a, while, for a bit in our planning session. Then we got into the mission, which uh, we've got the five bullets that uh, we put in there to advance general and specific purposes of Project Management Institute, advance the practice and the profession, those are the key words there, project management, um, encourage and facilitate education, certification, and uh, professionalism in project management, and provide a forum for discussion and examination of problems, solutions, applications, and related to the management of projects, and then the last is disseminate information regarding developments in project management. So, you know, we, you know, if you haven't done, you know, your vision and mission, it's just really key to you know, take the time to do that. You may you know, you know, have some ups and downs, <laughs> just like uh, every, every board it does, but, um, you know, it's how critical it is to spend that time together and, and really lock those in. No, we don't usually publish those, so those aren't in the strategic plan. But uh, you know that's that's the crux of your uh, of your strategic planning session. So um, okay, and we talk. This is uh, one thing I did want to talk about in the strategic planning versus the plan is that really the planning process, you know, is mapping out our route. It's not just a document. The whole idea is we want to map out now how, where are we going, how are we going to get there. We, we uh, referred to some uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, references. Uh, one was an integrated strategic planning model that uh, was uh, used that, uh, that came from Robert Baskell. And um, again, the values is key we talked about. But the, the other key piece is the environmental scan. You know, taking into consideration what's going on out there in your environment. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to talk about here for a minute coming up. Because you know that's really defining and describing the factors and the events that are shaping the future direction of your organization, which is you know like the internal scan, and then there's also the external, uh, where you're looking at you know re being reflective on the world outside. The, you know here we have the valley of the sun, uh, as we're known, and what's going on. And we certainly have plenty of it, but uh, you know, and, but you know we got to consider the present and the future. And that really leads us to talking about, you know, being, you know, beware of the rogue wave. Thanks, Missy. And the rogue wave. So there's a rogue wave. <laughs> the rogue wave is about 80 feet uh, high. For those of you that don't know, it's a, uh, and I, uh, I have a friend that, uh, that does a lot of sailing and likes to talk about this. And, uh, you know, this is like the, the, the worst case you know, scenario, so to speak, that, that can head your way. And, um, you know, our story and, and, and my story as the president in 2009 was that we had, you know, the economic downturn, right? We, going into 2009, we were on a ride, we were on a roll. So I'm going to give you a few minutes uh, to actually write out on your uh, 